Hey guys, it's me again, Panto6, with another Let's Play, and this time it's with um, Zombie. It used to be called Zombie U for the Wii U, and now it's just called Zombie, uh, which recently came out to the Xbox One, PS4, and I think the PC as well. And the gameplay is sort of like a, it's a first person um, Dark Souls, in my opinion. But it does feel like, dude, if you've ever played it, feels like Condemned Criminal Origins. Uh, even the graphics and everything like that kind of looks that way. But um, the game is... I was really optimistic when the game got announced for these systems because I didn't know how that was going to do it without the gamepad. But um, everything transitioned really, really well. Um, the graphics are fine. Uh, I haven't noticed any type of game-breaking bu bugs. Um, it's brutal. It's difficult. Um even trying to traverse the uh, city of London. Um, and you will die. You will die plenty of times when playing this game. And that will require you to start a new character and go look for your backpack, which is attached to the new brain-eating version of your old self. Um, now, I do, like I said, I played this when it first came out on the Wii U, and um, I did not ever get a chance to share it with you guys, so... Um, without further ado, here's some gameplay for Zombie for the Xbox One. Um, I believe it's $20 on the Xbox One and PS4 and Steam. Right now it's $24.25, but I highly recommend you guys check it out. I'll try to have an episode of the game feed tonight. If not, like I said, it'll be tomorrow. And we'll have some footage of the Taken King DLC, so be prepared for that. I go hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And stay tuned this weekend. I will have a new episode of the Goblin Traders. Finally, after two weeks of not having an episode, there will finally be an episode of the Goblin Traders. So guys, have a good day. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. And I love you. Ugh. <sighs> 